Hi there grade nines and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud Maths um, and our next lesson in the series of surface area and volume. Right, today we are going to look at um, the surface area and volume of a cylinder and it is our third lesson in this series. Right, let's get going. Okay, so the surface area of a cylinder if, let's first of all look at the net of a cylinder and as you know the net would be like the plan of a, cylin a cylinder sorry about that if you had to cut open the cylinder what would it look like as 2d shapes now a cylinder would be made up of three shapes not three different shapes but three shapes put together so as you can see here we've got a rectangle and two circles so a rect the rectangle the lengths are the same there we go those are the two lengths are the same as the circumference of the circle okay because if that was in its 3d shape that part would be wrapped around the circle so therefore the 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 um, length of the rectangle is the same length as the circumference of the circle remember circumference just means uh, another word for circumference is the perimeter of a circle but we don't call it the perimeter of a circle we call it the circumference okay so there we have the circular base on either side because if we put it into a 3d shape that would how would be how we stand the cylinder up it would be on a circular base at the bottom and then there would be a circular base at the top okay so to work out the surface area of a cylinder we would need the area of the two circles so the top base and the bottom base and the area of the rectangle and then we add it all together and like i said to find the dimensions of the rectangle it would be the same as the circumference of the circle as well as the breadth and this time the breadth we will call the height so if we have a look what is the formula for the area of a circle it is two pi sorry pi r squared is the area the circumference of a circle is two pi r okay so pi remember is either 22 over 7 or it's 3 comma 1 4 so if you took 22 over 7 you divided the 22 by the 7 because we know how to work with fractions put that into your calculator you're going to get 3 1 4 something 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 but we will round it off because it's easier to work with 3 1 4 okay so the r stands for radius as you know so it's pi r squared which means pi 3 comma 1 4 times by whatever the radius is squared okay the area of the rectangle as i said is length times breadth but the length is the same as the circumference of the circle so we work it out using the formula 2 pi r which means 2 times 3 comma 4 times whatever the radius happens to be and then we will end up with that side and then the breadth of the rectangle as i said just now is also known of, as the height of the cylinder so this is the height of the cylinder and we will refer to it as h okay so when we're looking at our formula when you see the h pop up you know that it comes from the height of the cylinder okay so if we go back to our net and we look at the circle and we are told that the radius of that circle is three centimeters and the height of the um, rectangle or the height of the cylinder is five centimeters which means it's the breadth of the rectangle we can now work out what the surface area is so the surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times height remember pi r squared that's the area of that of that circle okay but we've got two of them so we have to double that area then we have to work out the area of the rectangular part and that would be 2 pi r, which would give us the length, times the height of the cylinder. So all we do is we will now substitute in. We know that pi is 3 comma 1, 4. And in this case, the radius is 3. So it would be 3 squared. Um, and here it's 2 pi r. So it's 2 times 3 comma 1, 4 times 3. And then times the height, which is 5. So this should be centimeters. I didn't put it in there because then we'd have to put another bracket because the three needs to be squared as well as the centimeters. Okay, so there we go. Three comma one four times three, which would give me sorry twenty eight comma two six centimeters squared. But remember, 
That is for one of the circular bases. We now need to work out for two, so we are going to multiply it by two. And then that all works out to 94,2. So it's two pi r, pi being 3,14. The radius is three centimeters times by the height will give me five centimeters. Times that all together, we end up with 94,2 centimeters squared. We now then need to multiply those together first because of our order of operations and anyway we are trying to find double the one um, circular base. So that gives us 56,52 centimeters squared plus our 94,2 centimeters squared from the rectangle part of the cylinder. And we add that together, we end up with 150,72 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at another one. Here we have a cylinder. Um, we are told that our radius is 5 centimeters and our height is 8. And there you can see it better than looking at the net. That is what the height is. But please remember, we don't only have one circular base. There is one underneath there as well. Okay, so let's write down our formula. We've got surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times height. Okay, remember it's not 2 pi r squared. It's the 2 because it's two bases and the bases are pi r squared each. Okay, that's what makes a difference to this because that you will just multiply by two there. Okay, so we've got two times 3,14, which is pi, times five centimeters, which is the radius, and the five centimeters needs to be squared. Then the rectangle gives us two pi r, which is two times 3,14, times five being the radius. Okay, that gives us our one side to our rectangle, and then the other side would be the height, which is 8 centimeters. Okay, so we go 5 times 5 would give me 25 centimeters squared. I still have to times that by 3,14 and then still double it. And then the rectangle would be 2 times 3,14 times 40, because 5 times 8 is 40, and that would give me centimeters squared. Okay. We're going to then um, find our area for our one base, our one circular base, which is 78,5 centimeters squared. And now I have to double that. And I have to add it to 6,28, which is 2 pi, um, and then times that by 40. Okay. So it's 157 centimeters squared plus 251,2 centimeters squared. I can add them together because they are like terms. They are both centimeters squared. If the one was centimeters squared and the other one was just centimeters, then you need to go back and look and see where you've made your mistake. They should both be centimeters squared. Okay, then you can add them together and your total surface area is 408,2 centimeters squared. So that's the area of that, the area of that all the way around, and the underneath all added together. So that is your total surface area. Right, let's look at another one. Here we go, there's our um, cylinder, it's on its side, but that is still known as the height, and we still need the radius of the circular base. So once again, we write down our formula, which is 2 times pi r squared plus 2 pi r times height. Okay, we keep the 2 on the outside, we write down pi is 3,14 in both places, and the um, radius is, we are told, is 7,15 centimeters. So we have to square that and we get 25 centimeters squared. On this side for the rectangle, we've got 2 times pi times the radius, which is 7,5 times the height, which is um, 4. You can see I just corrected that because I had written down 8 by mistake, but we can carry on with our calculation now. Um, we are now going to square our 7,5 um, and we get 25 centimeters squared. Don't think that's right either. Corrected that. 7,5 centimeters squared would be, um, or all squared, would give us 46,25 centimeters squared. We still have to multiply that by pi. Um, but for the rectangle, we've got 2 times 3,14, which is pi, times 30 centimeters squared. Okay, so let's carry on working out. We're going to get 2 times 78,5 centimeters squared because 46 times 25 will. Um, Sorry, 46,25 times 3,14 would give us 78,5 centimeters squared. We then go 2 times 3,14, it gives us 6,28 again. 
and then times by our 30 centimeters squared there. Right, so 2 times 78,5 is going to give us 176,625. If you wanted to, you could round it off, but it hasn't asked us to round anything off yet. And 6,28 times 30 would give us 188,4 cent, both centimeters squared. Okay, add those together and you end up with 365,025 centimeters squared. That is the surface area for that cylinder, okay? Once again, if we had centimetres squared plus centimetres, we would be able to do nothing with it. So just please make sure that you remember your squared signs on both sides. All right. Okay, you try this one. There is your cylinder. Pause the video and you try and work out that surface area on your own. And then we can see how you did when you come back. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, so there is our formula again. We've got 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times height. Okay, so we keep the 2 on the outside. We first square the radius and we are told that the radius is 1,5 centimeters. So to square that, we're going to end up with 2,25 centimeters squared. On the rectangle side, we've got our 2 times 3,14 because that's pi. Our radius is 1,5 centimeters, and our height, we are told, is 15. I'm sure you got that right. So all it is actually, guys, is substituting in because you are given the information. Right, so next step is we've got to multiply out. So um, we're going to go 3,14 times 2,25 is going to give us 7,065 centimeters squared. And we're going to double that because of our two circular bases. Okay, on the other side, 6,28 times 22,5 centimeters squared. Please remember all the time that this side is the rectangular side or the rectangle area and this side is the two circu uh, circular bases. Okay, working that out, we end up with 14,13 centimeters squared for both bases together and 141,3 centimeters squared for the rectangle. Add those together, we end up with 155,43 centimeters squared. Everybody happy? I think we've practiced this quite a bit. But what about the volume of the cylinder? Okay, that surface area, and we've practiced it a number of times. What about the volume? The volume, once again, is a shorter um, calculation. Let's have a look. The formula would be the area of the base multiplied by the height. So it's going to be pi r squared, we only need one base, and then we're going to multiply it by the height. Simple, because um, pi r squared would be 6,14, or sorry, 3,14, times by the radius, times by the height. Okay, so there we go, back to our net, and we've got the radius, and we've got the radius of 3, and we've got the height of 5, which we had right in the beginning to work out the surface area, but look how simple this is. Okay, so it's pi r squared times height. We're going to go 3,14 times 3 centimeters squared times 5 centimeters. So we're going to get 3,14 times 9 centimeters squared times by 5 centimeters will give us 28,26 centimeters squared times by 5 centimeters. Now here we can multiply them together because it is a multiplication. If this was addition, we would not be able to do anything. But what happens to the square, it now, no, sorry, not the square, the centimeters, it now becomes cubed. So it's 141,3 centimeters cubed because we've taken our centimeters squared and multiplied by another centimeters and that would give us centimeters cubed. Right, let's look at this one. Like I say, the volume is a lot shorter to work out. It doesn't take as long because the formula is a lot shorter. It's a simpler formula. So it's pi r squared for the one base, the one circular base, and merely times by the height. So pi we know is 3,14 times by our 9 centimeters, all squared, times by 2,5. So we're going to get 3,14 times 81 centimeters squared, and then times that by 2,5. 254,34 centimeters squared is the 81 times by pi, and then times that by 2,5, you're going to end up with 635,85 centimeters cubed. Okay, so remember, volume is cubed and surface area is squared. Right, you try this one. 
here we go there we have a cylinder um, there are the measurements you uh, can um, pause the video sorry pause the video and when you come back we'll then go over it right let's see how you did there's the volume the formula for the volume we now just substitute in pi being 3 comma 1 4 times by the radius squared is 1 meter squared and then times by 12 meters which is the height okay we're going to get 3 comma 1 4 times 1 meters squared times by 12 3 comma 1 4 meters squared because that was just multiplied by 1 times by 12 and you're going to end up with 37 comma 68 meters cubed okay once again just a reminder Volume is always a cubed a unit of measurement, whereas surface area is always a squared unit of measurement. Okay, right. What about this, though? Let's have a look. There is our um, cylinder. We are not given the radius. We're given the circumference of the base. So, in other words, the perimeter of the circular base, which is actually also our side of our rectangle, and we are given the height. Now, can we carry on and um, find out what our um, surface area is without working out the radius first? I think we're going to have to work out the radius first. So what are we going to do? We're going to go 2 pi r because that is the circumference. That is the formula for the circumference. And we are told it is 78,5 centimeters. Okay, so what do we do? We just start eliminating. So if we divide 2 pi r by 2, then we must divide the 78,5 by 2. So we will then get pi r is equal to 78,5 divided by 2, and that will give us 39,25 centimeters. But we know what pi is. As you can see there, it's 3,14. So again, if you divide this side by 3,14, you have to do the same on that side. So the radius is 39,25 centimeters divided by 3,14. And so you're going to end up with a radius of 12,5. 12, you can now work out the surface area, or we can work out the volume first. Um, and we can say 2, sorry, pi r squared times height, because we've got the radius there. And we're going to go 3,14 times 12,5 centimeters squared times 4 centimeters. Okay? And there we have it, 3,14 times 156,25 centimeters squared, and then times by the 4 centimeters, which is the height. Okay, so we've got 490,625 centimeters squared times the height of 12, and we're going to get this massive volume of 5,887,5 centimeters cubed. Okay, thank you for watching today's lesson, guys. Um, that was quite a quick lesson, but please don't forget if you have any queries at all to email to grade 9 at worksheetcloud.com and also to do the activity that is associated with this um, lesson. Please also, if there was any space where I went too fast, go back and watch again and pause as many times as you want to and have a look at the calculations. And remember, through all of this, you can always use your calculator because some of the numbers get quite complex with the comma and three decimal places to work with. Right, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Keep well for now.